Okay, the conclusion. Before we get to the conclusion, I want to say that you'll see on your page transition statement, transition straight statement, transition statement in between the main points and the main sections of the speech. Uh, these transition statements are like the preview. They're signposts that help your listener move through the speech and understand, oh, we're moving now from here to here. So a transition statement about our restaurants would be, um, so if you don't find what you like on the East End, you could always try the West End. That lets me know, oh, the West End's coming up and we're finished with the East End. So if you don't find what you like on the West End, you could always try the East End. The East End has several great restaurants. That's the topic sentence for that main point of the body. So in between each one, uh, you need to transition and then transition to the conclusion. So in the conclusion, we restate our thesis and do a review of main points. Very, 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 very similar to the introduction. You could use the same exact thesis statement as you used in the introduction. Uh, and we want to repeat things because repetition is how we remember things as human beings. So by the time we get to the end of our speech, we've said our main idea, our topic sentence twice in the introduction and conclusion, and we've gone over our points three times. We previewed them, and then we gave you all the data in the body, and then we review them in the conclusion. So you tell them what you're going to tell them, you tell it to them, and then you tell them what you told them. Okay, so that's the thesis statement and the conclusion and the review of main points. Now, the reason to remember is how, like, why should they care about all that stuff you just told them? So, <clears throat> for our Galveston restaurant speech, you could say, I know that most of us have spent a day at the beach and um, gotten hungry and wondered where to eat. So now we know. That's why you should remember everything I just told you about the restaurants in Galveston. The tie back to the attention getter. Ding, 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 ding. This is important. So the attention getter is a beautiful way to start your speech that sounds so professional and polished and put together. And the tie back to the attention getter is the same thing for ending a speech. They're like bookends of your speech. <clears throat> and <coughs> they're completely related. So the tie back to the attention getter should incorporate some of the words that you use in the attention getter. Enough of them, the key words that your audience will remember. Oh, that's where we started. We're finishing now, right? It's a beautiful technique to finish your speech. The reason I want you to get it down pat is because sometimes it's really hard to end a speech. You kind of get to the end of your information and everybody's still listening. <laughs> and you feel like saying, that's it. I'm done. And uh, it's just much cleaner and more professional to have that tie back to attention getter. So, if I said one in three women um, have been sexually assaulted, and then I give a whole bunch of statistics, then and data and information in the body, and I go through the introduction and conclusion, I get to the very end, and I'll say, so now we have all become more aware of sexual predators. Maybe we can lower that number from one in three to zero in three or one in a hundred or something like that. So, um, or zero and three. Anyway, so you tie back to the exact attention getter. It's a really important um, to use the same words that one in three women sexually assaulted. I use that at the end in a different way to conclude my speech. So if you ask a question, how many of you have ever been at the beach and just gotten so hungry and not known where to go eat? Okay, so then a tie back to that would be something like, so the next time you get to the beach, go to the beach and get really hungry, you'll know where to eat. So that ties back and it makes me think, oh, that's where we started. So that's the conclusion of your speech.